Welcome! In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to get started with NTOPNG Edge, that is the new version of NTOPNG specifically designed to control and policy the internet traffic of the devices in your network. You can install NTOPNG Edge using our page packages.ntop.org. You will find installation instructions there. And as soon as NTOPNG Edge is installed, you can reach the administration, dashboard and control pages using the web browser simply by pointing the URL bar to the IP address of the machine, port 3000. Here we have a login page that you can fill with the full forecast and credentials. And now we are inside the NTOPNG Edge dashboard. The first time that you install NTOPNG, it is fundamental and it's necessary to visit the system setup page to actually specify the configuration that you want NTOPNG Edge to use in your system. The simple configuration, also called Bridge actually uses a couple of interfaces, a LAN and a WAN, and it operates between those two interfaces. So, the WAN interface is basically connected to your internet router or to your internet gateway, whereas the LAN interface is connected to your clients. So you can have an access point connected there, for example. Once you have chosen the LAN and the WAN interfaces of NTOPNG Edge, you can also specify the bridge speed. This is very important because typically ADSL connections, cable internet are limited and are also asymmetric in terms of download and upload speed. So maybe you can have a 20 max download speed and a 5 max upload speed for your internet connection. It is important to set those two speeds because NTOPNG uses them to actually implement throttling and filtering. You can also enforce your custom DNS. So here you have an option to choose a DNS among a preset of well-known DNS services. You can also choose your custom DNS. So what, what happens when this option is enabled is that all the DNS requests that are seen by your clients will be automatically redirect, redirected to this DNS address. You also have an option to specify child safe DNS to protect kids against unwanted, malicious or non-recommended sites. There is also a captive portal page that you can enable so that new devices will be prompt for a login username and password before using the internet. And actually, we will see in a minute how this login can be used to actually associate devices to users. And we here, we also have the bandwidth control because NTOPNG is not just a simple pass or draw. NTOPNG allows you also to do throttling, that is, to regulate and to limit the speed of users that are jeopardizing the network, for example. And here you have a series of settings to configure how to control the bandwidth. But let's see now how to create new users and how to assign devices to users. Here, for example, in this installation, I have three users, Simone, Marco, and Luca. And those guys have two devices, one devices, and no devices respective. I can create new users from here, let's say 
John, man, John Doe, and I can set the password. And that's all. I have set the password, and it's important to set the password because that is the same password that will be checked when the user will try to log in using the captive port. And EntopNG Edge knows how to associate devices to users using that captive portal page with the associated password. Okay, so now we have created the users. Now what we would like to do is to actually enforce policies to the created users. So let's say I have Simone. I can view Simone's hosts that are actually connected. I have this IP address. The other counter says two because two is the total number of devices assigned to Simone, even those that are not connected in this moment. Among the device, among the Simone devices connected in this modem, I can see this, that is a MacBook Pro. I can see that from this logo that is a, a, a device, a laptop. Okay, let, let's try to add policies to Simone. From the Simone configuration page, I can tell if uh, he is a, a child and it needs protection. And I can also choose a default policy that is pass in this case or drop, or I have also two, two other ways to control the policies of Simone, slow and slower pass that are used to do the throttling as I've mentioned earlier. If I select the drop by default, it means that all Simone's traffic will be automatically dropped by an OpenG edge unless otherwise specified in these two new tabs that we are going to see in a moment. If I leave the default policy as pass, it means that Simone's traffic will be automatically able to reach the internet unless otherwise specified here. The policies that we can specify for any user are very fine-grained because they, are, they can be defined on traffic categories such as chat, cloud, media and blah 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 and they can also be defined even on single protocols, such as I don't want this guy to see YouTube, I don't want this guy to see Facebook, and I can just pick the protocol, select a drop, save the setting, and from this point on, Simone will no longer be able to visit Facebook. Let's see an example. Here we are in the user Simone. And I now I can try and open the YouTube page and see YouTube videos, I can play YouTube videos and we can see that actually the videos are working. So now if I visit Simone category policies and I select media for example and I say I don't I want to drop media traffic for Simone, I save the setting, close the tab, reopen it, YouTube, and as you can see now the web browser is hanging, is telling waiting for YouTube, and now it says the site can be reached. What is going on actually? It's going on that Simone's YouTube traffic is getting dropped and as we can see from the active Simone's flow we have seen that YouTube is tracked through. So yes actually you can do this on YouTube and on another wide range of protocols and categories. So let's try and re-enable Simone's YouTube traffic. If I select YouTube, 
sorry if I select media here I can just say I want media to work again visit there refresh the page and here we are in YouTube we have two levels here because that allows even a fine a finer grain of control because I could have specified I want to drop media so YouTube Vimeo Netflix Holo Fubu all these protocols I want to drop them but I only want YouTube to pass so what happens here is that basically the protocol wins on the category so YouTube pass but all the other medias that are selected as drop will be automatically dropped by NTOPNG in, in the, in, earlier in this video I mentioned also uh, that we can do the throttling so let's have a closer look at the throttling now here we have two extra radio buttons that allows us to select a policy, a policy which is slow pass or slower pass for media category of Simone. Because actually uh, NTOPNG Edge has three different classes of service for the throttling that are pass, slow pass and slower pass. So that you can specify, that you can assign to each user, to each category or protocol, you can specify a class of service and you can treat those class of service with three different levels of services. The services are called minimum guaranteed and maximum enforced. With minimum guaranteed, you are telling NTOPNG Edge that you want PASS to always have at least 75% of the download speed and the upload speed. Those two speeds are treated separately. If you specify maximum enforced, you are telling NTOPNG that you want the PASS class of service to always have at most 75% of the available upload and download bandwidth. So this is actually also a new, a finer way to control the internet traffic. So for example, this is particularly useful if you have uh, users that are doing a lot of media, a lot of streaming, BitTorrent. You don't want to block them totally but you can simply throttle them maybe by assign a slower pass to, to the media and bit torrent uh, protocols of a, given, of a given user like this with media say I want Simone to visit media but I don't want him to do media too much I can choose a slow pass policy for the user Simone. You have a recap of all the active users here. You can filter them by your clients, by group, Simone, Marco and Luca, so to see actually what are doing them, if they have blocked flows, if they are misbehaving or if they, or, or the activities that they are doing. Well, I think it's pretty much for this quick uh, intro to NTOPNG Edge, so feel free to drop us emails and contact us on our social uh, GitHub page uh, and talk. And yes, use our resources to contact us if you have new questions. Thank you.